Hi guys, I'm Esther and you're welcome to Light Personified. <laughs> On today's episode, we're going to be addressing a couple of issues in the place of prayer. If you have any prayer requests or you just want to join in and tender your request to God, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome to this channel. <laughs> welcome to Life Person Fight. On Light Person Fight, it's all about faith, worship, and music. We pray together, worship together, we share playlists, testimonies, and experiences from Christians dealing with real issues in a changing world. And I would love you to be a part of the Life Person Fight Farm. So if you're not yet a part of Life Person Fight Farm, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel and please click the notification bell so that you are always on track. And if you're returning, if you're returning, <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Thank you guys for always coming back. Like, it means so much to me. So, let's get straight into today's video. So, on this episode, our scripture is going to be taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. And it reads, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So on this episode, like I mentioned, we're basically going to be pouring our hearts out at the feet of our Father, God, and um, basically we're going to be praying. So but before we get into um, the prayer, like the scripture says, it says that we should rejoice always, we should pray without ceasing and when they say pray without ceasing it doesn't necessarily mean that like every single time you have to be on your knees praying you can pray on the go you can pray like there are times where you you need to actually spend time and focus and just pray in the spirit and pray with your father but then there are times when you can't always be like that like on your knees and praying so in those situations you need to be praying on the go speaking to the holy spirit all the time like for me i would say my own experience personally i i talk to the holy spirit every single time like i ask him for all sorts of things and things that you feel that may not really really matter or he he may not be concerned about like he is concerned about those little details so something as simple as oh holy spirit what do you think i should wear today or mm, what do you think between this color and this color is this better or i want to buy this thing is this a good purchase like simple questions like that or even okay i want to buy bread between this bread and this other bread which one do you think is better those are the kinds of um like when you get used to speaking to the holy spirit on little things like that and you get used to hearing him on like regarding little things like that you when the big things come like you get so used to it that when big things come he's the first person you want to speak to and you actually know his voice based on the time like based on the fact that you spent time speaking with him over the years you would already know his voice so when he speaks to you on a big issue or when you are asking him for advice on a big issue he will definitely be answering you and you'll be able to hear him and know that he's the one so but then prayer is really important because like i mentioned in last week's video where we shared the prayer playlist i hope you guys have already started listening to the prayer um playlist i hope it's been blessing you guys and i hope um it's been helping you to pray better so like i mentioned in last week's video prayer is really important it's an important part of our lives like with prayer you can change so many things you can move on the earth and a lot of times we feel that okay well why do i need to pray like i can just do this 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 and this and like i'll get things done why do i necessarily need to pray and actually we need to pray like importantly like it's 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 so important for us to pray because um, without prayer, we cannot give God permission to do stuff on the earth. So, for example, you want God to intervene on a matter, but you do not pray. You do not give him um, the opportunity to move. And you may say, okay, well, how come there are some times where um, like, God just intervened on a certain matter and I didn't pray about it? It may not be your own prayer that made that happen. It may be a prayer of your parents 
prayer of your friends it may be prayer of someone in a remote village somewhere praying making intercessory prayers for the world it may be that person that covered you in their prayer so prayer is what gives god the um, permission and the should I say, leeway to move on the earth there's a scripture i think in matthew where um, jesus was ascending and then he spoke to the disciples and he told them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me go so basically like every single authority in heaven and on earth is with us we as the body of christ now have all authority and all power so for us to allow god to move we need to pray so anyway all this conversation all this talk was just to let you know that it's important for you to pray i'd also say it's also important for you to pray in the holy spirit it's not like when you don't pray in the holy spirit god won't answer your prayer god definitely answers your prayers however you pray but praying in the holy spirit is more effective because with praying the holy spirit the holy spirit is one praying on your behalf he's basically praying for you so it's like god praying on your behalf and we know that god has great things in store for her for us he has good plans for us so whenever he prays for us we know that it's going to be the best thing for us so that's why um, praying in the holy spirit is important so if you desire to pray in the holy spirit um i would like to pray with you but before we go to that prayer i'd like to lead you through a simple prayer and like i mentioned it's a relationship christianity is not um a religion or um a bar that you have to reach it's a relationship and once you have that relationship with jesus you have access to all benefits you have access to all power and all authority on earth you have access to being in the body of christ seated together with christ in heavenly places so there is so much that you benefit and i i can assure you that like that making that decision is the best decision you would ever make in your life i can assure you of that so if you would like to pray in tongues you first of all need to have a relationship with jesus so if you want to have that relationship with jesus i want you to um, say this prayer after me lord jesus come into my heart i believe that you died for my sins and that you were raised from the dead just for me I accept your love and I accept your salvation and I declare that all things are passed away and all things have become new. Amen. <laughs> That's the celebration that we always do for every person who makes that declaration because heaven is rejoicing, angels are singing and guess what? The Holy Spirit now lives within you. So, he's in your spirit right now. And when you ask him for the gift of speaking in tongues, like I, because, I, because it's actually a gift. It's a gift. So when you ask him for that gift, he will freely give you. So right now, I'm just going to pray for you. And then we'll just flow into the, this prayer session. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your children watching this video. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father, for those who just... Um, made that declaration and came to you it's such a joy and i know that heaven is celebrating because of that single person so holy spirit i just want to thank you for them thank you for their lives oh god lord i just want to pray right now for um the gift of the holy spirit for those who desire to have that gift to pray in the holy spirit to pray in tongues and to give you um the power to pray through them holy spirit please move right now in their midst oh god Move right now and give them utterance in the name of Jesus. And for you watching this video who um, has that desire right now, as the Holy Spirit gives you utterance, just start speaking. Just start speaking. Just start speaking. It may not sound like you want it to sound, but just keep on praying in tongues. Zele 
Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your children, oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, oh God. Thank you. We magnify your name, oh God. We magnify your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Zelinda Bakuso Tola Tabarabarabaraba. Just keep on speaking, just keep on speaking. Yes, you're already doing it. Just keep speaking. Lemba kusha vrada bazuta na karaba. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. If you just started speaking in tongues, I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I'm so happy for you. As we, as we continue to pray, just keep on praying. Just keep on praying with us in tongues and just keep, just yield yourself to the Holy Spirit right now. So, right now, I'm going to, we're going to start with the first, um, the first thing we're going to be praying for is going to be a prayer of thanksgiving, and it's also going to be. Well, it's going to be a prayer of thanksgiving for um, the word that we are giving for this year. This year, we are giving the word extraordinary light. So this year is our year of extraordinary light. So we're going to just thank God because we know that in this year, we're going to experience extraordinary light. We're going to experience it in every single area of our lives. So right now, I'm just going to thank him for it. And we're going to just um, pray. But I'm also, I want to just share a scripture to that effect. So the scripture I'm going to be sharing is... From Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 and 16. And it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but, in a, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So this is what we're going to pray right now. We're going to just thank God for the light that he has given us. We're going to just thank God for extraordinary light in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your extraordinary light. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your extraordinary light. Thank you for your extraordinary light, O God. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, because we get to shine bright this year, oh God. Thank you. Thank you because you've put light on our path in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your light that gives clarity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for extraordinary light. Thank you for extraordinary light in our families. Thank you for extraordinary light in our businesses. Thank you for extraordinary light in our finances. Thank you for extraordinary light in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you because we shall shine bright. Thank you because our lives shall shine bright and our lives shall give glory to you that people shall see us and see your glory through us in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. That people shall see us and be like, what's going on? Why are you shining so bright? But we know that it's because of you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I cancel every plan of the enemy concerning everyone watching this video in the name of Jesus. Any plan of the enemy that's about to take that light from that person, I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Leave that place right now in the name of Jesus. You are not stealing anybody's light in the name of Jesus. You are not stealing anybody's light in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy concerning anyone watching this video right now, you are your, your plans are scattered right now in the name of Jesus. 
Get out of here right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, now we're going to just thank God for clarity, for decision making. There may be many decisions that you want to make. Then you may be at a crossroads right now. You are thinking, what should I do? Where should I go? What was the next step? Right now, we're going to just pray for clarity. I don't know what that that thing is that you're trying to decide on but right, right now i'm going to pray for pray for clarity also in line with light because when there is light darkness cannot be there and when there's light you can see clearly and so we're going to pray for the light that comes with we're going to pray for the clarity that comes with light and we're going to just read we're going to read two scriptures actually one um from james 1 5 and also from ephesians 1 18 so um let's just go there right now so james 1 5 says if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god who gives to all liberally and without reproach and it will be given to him whenever we ask god for wisdom concerning a situation he gives us freely liberally like he does not withhold wisdom from you once you ask him for wisdom he gives you wisdom so what is that situation that you need his help with that you need direction on ask the holy spirit for wisdom right now and we're going to read from ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 to 18 and it says that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints when we begin to know god more god begins to reveal things to us and we we begin to experience his wisdom we begin to see like we begin to he begins to give us um how do i how do i explain it he once you you begin to know god more and you spend time with him he reveals so like he doesn't hide anything from you again he reveals everything to you in every situation where you ask him for help you ask him for wisdom you ask him for direction he gives you freely he gives you willingly the more you know him so right now i'm going to just pray these prayers concerning all of us including myself we're going to pray for wisdom in making decisions and we're going to pray that we may we may experience the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him so thank you holy spirit for the spirit of wisdom thank you holy spirit for wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you Elamba kuvra da jala bara da ba zuvra da zane kiri zele nde bo shovro da zuvra kaza nda bara da ba zuvra da zane kiri Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for wisdom, wisdom concerning every single situation wisdom in the name of jesus wisdom in our offices wisdom in our businesses wisdom in our academics wisdom in every single area of our lives wisdom in relationships oh god thank you holy spirit for wisdom in relationships for clarity in relationships in the name of jesus whether it's the right person whether whether it's is the right time we need clarity, Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you for clarity in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you for clarity in the name of Jesus. Clarity in the name of Jesus. And for wisdom to handle all sorts of situations that may come our way in the name of Jesus. We know that wisdom comes from you. So right now, we trust you for wisdom. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for wisdom wisdom lende bo shoto vra da bazande kere de bo shuta la bra da bara 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 ba su vra da zande kere de zelinda ba ko jo vra da bazande kere de bo suta lende bo shoto vra kazanda bra do shoto le kere de bazata vranda ba su vra da zata le kere de bo su vra da zane de le kembra do shoto la katam bra da bazata de de zelinda ma ko vra da bazande kere de bo suto jo to li kada bra da bazata la kada bara bazande kere de zelinda bo shoto la kabra da bazande kere de oh thank you holy spirit 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for wisdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for understanding, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for the because our, the eyes of our understanding is being enlightened in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lemba Kosha. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So right now we're going to go to the last um, prayer point, and that's that's that prayer point is about peace. And I don't know what you, what is that? I don't know what's that. What is that situation that you need peace about? I don't know what it may be. But if you need peace, God gives peace. He <laughs> He gives the peace that passes all understanding. The peace that's beyond what you can even imagine. That's the kind of peace He gives. So if you need help right now and you need the peace of God, just trust Him. Just trust Him. Just trust Him. So right now I'm going to read from Philippians 4, verse 6. He says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So right now I'm just going to thank God for His peace. He already gives us peace. Once we, once we depend on him, once we cast all our cares on him, he gives us peace. Once we rest in him, he replaces our worries with peace. So what is that thing that you are worrying about? I don't know what that may be. I just want you to know that there is peace available for you. There is peace available in his presence. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be concerned about the matter have you put that matter in god's hands god is more than able he's more than capable of handling that situation so there's no reason for you to worry all you need to do is just cast it on him tell him i don't know how you speak to god but speak to him how you want to sometimes i just speak to him like god this thing i am like i I come to God honestly because he I know he already knows how I feel but he wants me to speak still like he wants me to, to still speak to him so I just say God see this matter is bothering me oh, but I know that you can handle it I know that it's it's not even up to <laughs> it, it's it's such a, an insignificant thing in your sight so God, I trust you fully because I know that you're already in control. I know that you already knew that I needed this thing before I even asked. I know that you already knew that I would pass through this thing before I, I even was even born. So Holy Spirit, I know that I can trust you. That's how I speak to him. And I just, as I speak to him, I just suddenly, I start feeling that peace because he replaces your worries with peace. So right now, I'm just going to thank him for peace. I'm just going to experience his peace because his peace <laughs> his peace is really all we need oh thank you holy spirit for your peace thank you for your peace thank you for your peace oh thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you for your peace and for someone watching this video you are thinking like can he really do this in this situation i'm in where it seems like there's really no way out can he really can he really help me can he really make a way rely on him that's what i'm going to tell you rely on him and trust him he's already there right now he's already moving in that place right now and just just trust him for his peace in fact if you can just laugh <laughs> just laugh because the enemy has nothing against you 
he has nothing on you so just laugh just laugh <laughs> just laugh oh just enjoy his peace enjoy his peace <laughs> oh thank you holy spirit for your peace thank you for your peace oh thank you thank you thank you for your peace thank you thank you oh thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit for your peace thank you holy spirit for your peace thank you for your peace thank you for your peace thank you thank you thank you because without you there is no peace thank you thank you thank you jesus thank you oh thank you holy spirit thank you Whew, wow god is amazing <laughs> god is amazing so if you just watch this video and um, you have any testimonies from this video or even as time goes on you have any testimonies please send them to me to lightpersonfied at gmail.com and i would love to share your testimonies to encourage somebody and if you have any prayer requests please send them to me also to lightpersonfied at gmail.com and i'll join you in faith and also, if you made that prayer and that declaration earlier on in the video, please send a mail to me to live person fight. Just say, I am saved. Send a mail to me simply saying, I am saved. And I'll reach out to you with resources and things to just help you along your Christian journey. So if you watch this video so far and you are blessed by this video, please give this video a thumbs up so that others can be blessed and also share this video to somebody someone that you think needs to spend time in his presence someone that you think really needs the prayer please send this video to them and just bless someone today and also please let me know in the comment section what you experienced if you gave your life to christ if you started a relationship with christ today let me know in the comment section if you also started praying in tongues let me know in the comment section just let me know in the comment section your experience from this video and if you've watched this video so far and you've not subscribed yet i think this is the time for you to do so <laughs> so please subscribe to this channel and please click the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to know also follow us on instagram at live person five channel and remember that you are blessed and loved always bye <laughs>